He wants to know, how do you plan to promote an anti-war agenda in a red state like Ohio? Well, I did that as a member of Congress for 16 years. You know, we're, we're um, uh, first of all, you start by banning assault weapons, which are weapons of war. Get rid of them from the streets of Ohio. Secondly, you stop um, the militarization of our police by uh, blocking the bringing in of, uh, of, of military equipment into urban areas uh, for the purpose of law enforcement. Uh, third, I work for peace. I've always done that as a private citizen, as, uh, uh, as, as a public official. And I, I think that we need a whole new discussion about what America's priorities are. I mean, we cannot continue to sustain spending hundreds of billions of dollars a year on, on financing war abroad. And we don't have enough money to rebuild America. We don't have enough money to create jobs for all. We're told we don't have enough money for health care for all, even for retirement security. I mean, we really need a new consciousness in this country that says that, look, we're done with war. When I saw those 20,000 young people in, uh, on uh, March for Our Lives, uh, I saw the potential for, for a whole new America where it's a fearless America. It's an America driven by the passions of our youth who, who, want, who want to and envision a world that's interconnected and interdependent. Uh, that, you know, I'm talking to you over a, an iPhone. Uh, we have the ability to communicate with people instantly around the world. Anybody can watch this anywhere in the world. Uh, you can travel anywhere in the world, just about. Uh, you, you think about that instantaneousness. You think about how the societies come close. And you ask yourself, uh, why can't we get along? Why can't we find a way to achieve peace? And, and there's a, th there's a simple-minded thinking that says, well, it's just a violent world. No, it's not. Violence is an inevitable. Peace is inevitable. If you put structures in a society to facilitate peace, to address the issues of violence, I intend to do that as governor, address the issues of violence in our society, and to continue to be a spokesperson for peace in the world. Uh, uh, and, and so, yeah, you know, governors can have a lot to do with the shaping of of national policy, and I certainly intend to. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone, or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit, and that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on Patreon.com slash Ron Placone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.